If x equals log base 10, 2, and y equals log base 10, 3, write each of the following in terms of x and y. So we have log base 10, 200 divided by 9. So we notice that this is divide, and we're going to use law 2 of logs to break this up. Law 2 of logs says log base a x divided by y is equal to log base a x minus log base a y. So this divide becomes a minus and we split up the log. So now we have log base 10 200 minus log base 10 9. So I use law 2 to break that up. Next I'm going to break down 200 to be 2 times 10 squared. And it's important to note that I'm interested in getting my logs to break down into factors of 2 and 3 because I was told that x is equal to log base 10 2 and y is equal to log base 10 3. So I'm looking to get 2s and 3s in my logs. So 200 breaks down to be 2 times 10 squared and this multiply sign will become plus. So we're going to have log base 10 2 and then log base 10 10 squared, so log base 10, 10 squared. And then we're going to have minus log base 10, 3 squared, so the 9 becomes 3 squared. So the 2 and the 3 are highlighted because we're trying to get 2s and 3s involved in our logs, because in our question we were told that x and y both contain a 2 and a 3. Okay, so now I have log base 10, 2 plus log base 10, 10 squared minus log base 10, 3 squared. So that multiply became a plus. Now log base 10, 2 just stays as it is for the moment. I'm going to bring the power down in front of the log. So log base 10, 10 squared becomes 2 log base 10, 10. And then I'm going to do the same with this power here. This 2 is going to come down in front. So minus log base 10, 3 squared becomes minus 2 log base 10, 3. So the powers came down in front. And I followed law 1, which is up here, to make the multiply become add. And then I followed law 3, which is this law here, to make the powers come down in front. Okay, so now I have log base 10, 2, plus 2 log base 10, 10, minus 2 log base 10, 3. And if I look back to my question, I was interested in getting my logarithms in a format of log base 10, 2 and log base 10, 3. Because ultimately I want to rewrite these in terms of x and y. So log base 10, 2 I can just straight away swap for an x because that's what I was told x was equal to in my question. I'm going to bring down the 2 and then log base 10, 10 is just going to become 1. Because law 4 tells us that log base AA is going to give us 1. So if we ever have the same base and the same argument, we're always going to end up with a 1. So log base 10, 10 becomes 1. And then I'm going to bring down the minus and the 2. And log base 10, 3 is going to become y, because I was told that's what it equal to in the question. So just swap that for a y. Then 2 multiplied by 1 will be 2. And minus 2 multiplied by y will be minus 2y. So my answer in terms of x and y will be x plus 2 minus 2y. So again we have x to equal log base 10, 2 and y to equal log base 10, 3. And again we want to write the following in terms of x and y. So we have log base 10 root 72. Well the first thing I'm going to do is change this root 72 to be 72 to the power of a half. So the square root of x will always be equal to x to the power of a half and vice versa. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is bring the half down in front of the log. And I'm using law 3 to do that. So the half comes down in front of the log because that's the power. So I now have half log base 10, 72. So I followed law 3 for that. Next, what I'm going to do is break up the 72 into the prime factors of 72. Because again, I'm interested in getting factors of 2 and 3 because I was told in my question that x and y involve a 2 and a 3. So 72 can be broken down as 2 cubed multiplied by 3 squared. So where did I get 2 cubed by 3 squared from? Well 72, if I want to break it down into its prime factors, 72 divided by 2 is 36, 36 divided by 2 is 18, 
18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I can see I have 3 2s, which is going to give me 2 cubed, multiplied by 2 3s, which is going to give me 3 squared. So that's where that came from. So 72 gets broken down to 2 cubed times 3 squared. Now, I can follow law 1 of logs, which lets me change this multiplication to an addition, but I must keep that half outside the log, both logarithms, with brackets around it, because that half is going to have to be applied to both logarithms. Okay, so I then have half multiplied by log base 10 2 cubed plus log base 10 3 squared. So that multiply became a plus. Now I'm going to bring the power down in front. So the 3 comes down in front of the log base 10 2. And then I'm going to bring that power down in front. So that 2 comes down in front of the log base 10 3. And I'm following law 3 for that. Which is that law up there. So now I have a half multiplied by 3 log base 10 2 plus 2 log base 10 3. Now in the question I was told that x is equal to log base 10 2. So I'm going to swap this log base 10 2 for an x. And I was told that y is equal to log base 10 3. So I'm going to swap this log base 10 3 for a y. So I have a half multiplied by 3x plus 2y. Which is going to give me 3 over 2x plus y. A half times 3 is 3 over 2. And a half times 2 is just going to be 1 or just y. So log base 10 root 72 written in terms of x and y. It's going to be 3 over 2x plus y.